Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday was absolutely wild on the FIBA 23 market. We had a ton of panic selling. Prices went down super crazy low, but then the panic selling kind of stopped and cards started to go back up a little bit. Now, prices are definitely still down from where they were, but some cards like this Upamecano are back up 100,000 coins from where they were. Some of the fantasy cards, Road to the Finals, and a lot of other promo cards in this game were really really low and they have come back up a little bit did we miss the best time to buy was that the time or are there more opportunities coming will prices kind of come back down I think the answer to that is a yes. So we're going to take a look at all of that, the player of the month in Bafe SBC, and all of the foot birthday leaks that we have so far, because there are a few, and I expect a few more to be dropping today on this game. So if you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up, and if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to throw it over to another version of me for today's sponsor of the video. Welcome to my setup. I just got this brand new desk from FlexiSpot that I'm going to show you today. This is the Pro Plus Standing Desk E7. It is a fully functioning, powered, sitting or standing desk, completely customizable in size and color, as well as accessories, which you're about to see. First, a clamp power strip. Easy access to all the charging ports you need. Next, under the desk, you can see there are many options for cable management. I added this white cable management tray to hold all these crazy wires. I better not see one comment below about this cable management, all right? tough out here. Jokes aside, the best part of this desk is the standing or sitting aspect. With the press of a few buttons, you can raise, lower, and set presets to your desired heights. The keypad also includes child locks and an anti-collision system for your safety. The E7 is so stable, which is crucial for a standing desk. This desk supports up to 355 pounds of load, which is incredible, and comes with a 30-day risk-free return policy and a 15-year warranty. The E7 is a game changer. It creates a more comfortable and productive environment for me, leading to a healthier lifestyle. Check the exclusive link in the description and comments below to start customizing yours today. So back into the video, let's just quickly look over yesterday's content before we talk more about the market and the leaks for foot birthday. We did have some pretty big content yesterday. First of all, we had the Jack Grealish 90 rated card, his 88 SBC, by the way, only an 83 squad, incredible value from EA. I wish they would have done a bit more of a boost on this 90 though. We would have loved a four star weak foot or five star skills, but the in-game stats, all 94 and dribbling, some really good traits. That is a nice card. They do make your work a bit harder for it though. Two goals in 10 separate matches, but you can still combine it with all of the other objectives so far. We also had a token yesterday. Our fourth token for foot birthday swaps was one win. All you have to do is get one win inside of the first owner Fiesta homegrown 11 and you get that token. That is a W. Uh, you can still play the rest of the games, get an 82 times 10 and the other packs by the end if you want to, but I like that EA just made it one game for that token. And then of course the big crazy thing that we had yesterday on FIFA. It was an early content drop, the Kylian Mbappe 93 SBC. Now, the fact is, and you guys know this, this SBC is really not worth it at all. If you're on the fence about it, I would try to steer you away as fast as possible. I know it's a 93 Mbappe, but compared to what we have ha had in this game um, and just the price of this point compared to the 92 with the stat upgrade that we got, yes, he did get plus three physical, plus two passing, which is nice, but he didn't get the 99 pace. He cannot play right wing, which is a perk of the 92, and the price on this thing, man, is ridiculous. 4.2 million coins right now. Fodder has actually dropped a little bit. I'm kind of glad that I sold some of my fodder into the hype yesterday, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, just to take the safe route, and I'm glad that I did because EA didn't just overprice this SBC. They overpriced it to the moon. I think they know that Foot Birthday Swaps are upcoming with some fodder packs inside of it, and they really want to make people have to spend to get this. 93 Mbappe. They did not make it easy on us whatsoever. You can already see 13,000 downvotes on this card, which is more than the 92 had, right? And the 92 has been out since the end of January, so it's crazy. This is one of the most overpriced SBCs of the entire year uh, for such a small upgrade, especially with no pace for that card there. So really tough uh, from EA yesterday on this. Of course, as we expected, the gold Mbappes did come uh, back up in price and all of his other special cards. Like this card was 1.7. I believe the World Cup was in the 3 million coin range. Like all all of the Mbappe cards flew back up in price. I was able to pick up an Mbappe right around here at about 550 uh, before this is all happening. And boom, you, go, you saw a really, really massive spike around content. He went all the way back up uh, to about 670, 660, where, which is where I sold. And he's still up, right? I do think this could go a little bit higher this weekend um, after the foot birthday promo kind of starts and things maybe settle down a bit on the market. But 
That was the situation with the Mbappe yesterday. Now, something that happened um, yesterday as well, which we mentioned, I want to go back and talk about this before we move on. Fodder, right? High rated fodder is actually down because I just think that people are not doing this Mbappe SBC right away. If you think about it, you know, the, this fodder would have gone up yesterday if people would have started working on the SBC. And since it is so overpriced, overpriced beyond what we thought it was going to be, and there's really not a way to craft this right now. I mean, there's packs that are out, but a lot of people aren't opening a lot of packs because there's nothing in packs. So I think that is why you saw this start to go down. I do believe these cards, if you got them at like 57, 58K, you can definitely still hold because there are so many SBCs that are out right now. High rated fodder. Um, yes, it is down a little bit. I think it could be a good investment this weekend or holding your, your investment that you maybe had because we've got Cruyff, we've got Mbappe, we've got, you know, the icon pack. We're probably going to have more icon packs upcoming. You know, there's just a lot of high rated SBC demand at the moment. And I think that's going to continue through foot birthday. So I would hold on to that fodder and look to invest more this weekend. We'll talk about that later on in the week. But right now, 87s and up have dropped off in value because of the price of the Mbappe SBC. Now, just a bit ago, EA did the first fantasy foot upgrades of FIFA 23. We got the first upgrades, guys. I was not expecting this to happen like in the middle of the night, uh, but I guess going forward, we can kind of know when to expect these upgrades. Isak is up to a 90 one rated card. They gave out the upgrades, guys. Isak with the plus two. And one thing we learned and it is confirmed from our suspicions, these are, this is not like a plus two in-form upgrade. Right? This is a just standard plus two. He got plus two pace, plus two shooting, plus two passing. And the prices on some of these cards are starting to go up just a little bit, right? Alexis Sanchez is the other card that got a plus two. And you can see it's plus twos all around. I mean, look at this card, man. 90 pace, 90 shooting, 91 passing, 96 dribbling. Uh, Alexis Sanchez was about 640K when the upgrade happened just a couple of uh, minutes ago, actually. And he started to go up. He's about 680. I would expect to see some of these guys, especially Sanchez and Isak, maybe have a bit more of a rise today. Um, just a slight kind of, maybe a peak, like a couple hours this morning, they could have a peak in price uh, and then come back down a little bit. I think Papan was like 220. Now he is up to like almost 250 besides this undercut. So you can go through here on Footbin and look at the tracker for all the upgrades. But as you can tell, it is a straight up plus two on every single stat for Isak and uh, Alexis Sanchez. And for all the rest, it is a straight up plus one. So Kewel plus one, Marquez plus one, Okocha, Gomez, the Serie A, the Pop right SBC Yoriente Saliba got his plus one so now he has 86 pace instead of 85 so you've got some nice upgrades out there uh, and I do think some prices could continue to move I picked up um, this was something that I had in mind for hopefully happening later on today but it came early uh, I bought a Rick in at like 50 I think I got two of these at like 57k because he was still really really low from where uh, he was wow with the crash yesterday and he is up to 70 67, 74,000 coins. I'm going to go ahead and probably list the Rickon that I have up and try to take the cash here because I think this is a great opportunity to cash out on a card that is um, up this much. Could it go higher? Yes, but I'm still not trying to take too many risks right now uh, on this market with the way that we had the crashes yesterday and the way prices moved. Yes, the market feels a little bit more like not as scared now. Like earlier yesterday, guys, I'm telling you, and we're going to talk about it. There was some crazy panic yesterday on the market, like ridiculous panic. And let's move into that and talk about that because that was kind of the big news from yesterday as well is all of the panic selling that happened. And I just want to show you guys a couple of graphs of some cards and we're going to take wow look at Saliba he was just like 890 now he's like 977 so, so these guys are definitely bumping up in price a bit with these upgrades which is really nice if you got them yesterday in this really crazy low point almost every card in the game yesterday had a graph like this it was a drop 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 and then there was a couple hours yesterday in the morning where there was an insane amount of panic and then the cards got kind of to a low point and they were rocketed back up in price, right? I, I know this is not really, you know, I'm trying to brag or anything, but I made a lot of coins yesterday. And I think a lot of people made coins yesterday because of this dip. But also, think of the flip side, right? A lot of people also lost coins yesterday because of this crazy dip because it looked like the market was going to continue dropping to no end. It was just going down, down, down. And then, of course, the panic selling kind of stopped. And then it kind of went back up. And the panic selling hasn't resumed yet. There hasn't been too much else uh, panic selling on most cards. And I think the reason for that is we haven't had any like crazy leaks that have made things seem 
like, you know, foot birthday is absolutely wild. We had that first leak, right, with the Pedri. We're like, oh, wow, like there's still a lot of potential with this promo, right? Let that kind of be in your mind and remember that. But, uh, you know, 497 for Griezmann. I bought one there. I sold it at 550. He's now back up to 600,000 coins. Literally, we could click on like every single card in here and you would see the same movement uh, on, a, on all of these cards. Like they went really, really low and then bounced back up. Now, some of the cards that you've seen bounce back up the most are some of these fantasy cards because a lot of people, like Fabian, Fabian's still a bit low, 220, right? He was down at like 190, 200,000 coins, went back to like 230. He's a bit low right now. No upgrade for him. Of course, PSG lost. But some of these cards, I think, are you know, still going to go lower. I don't think this was the low point for every single card. I still believe if you take a look at some of the prices now, I still believe that we need to see some prices fall back down. I mean, Ginola was under 1.1 million coins, right? Ginola was 1.07. He went right back to 1.2. And look where he is now. He's back down, right? 1.13. I do believe that a lot of these cards that kind of went back up in price yesterday don't feel like you missed out. There's not really a ton of FOMO right now uh, because I do believe Foot Birthday is still going to bring us so many insane cards, new icons, and a lot of uh, craziness that is going to drop some of these prices down lower still. So if you feel like you missed out, I would try to not feel that way and look for more panic upcoming. Now, are all cards going to get back down to these crazy low prices that we saw yesterday? Maybe not, especially not some of those fantasy cards like we talked about. I think some of the fantasies, um, you know, like Upamecano was 370 and now he's 470. I don't know if he goes back down to that point, right? Um, you know, some other cards in your Saliba was 730K. I bought one at 760 and I sold it at 850, right? And now he's 900,000 coins. So, you know, I don't think most of those are probably not going to go that low, but could I see some other cards dropping back down? Absolutely. So that's just kind of one thing that I would tell you guys right now to watch out for, to be careful with, and just kind of know that about the market. There is still more panic and more potential for prices to drop upcoming, but kind of what you saw was just everybody just started panic selling. There's a lot of undercuts and it just got crazy, right? If you've seen market crashes before on this game, this sort of like massive drop early and then a bit of a bounce back and then some prices dropping later on is a normal thing that happens in this game, right? That first big massive drop. Usually we don't see this big of a bounce back, but uh, especially with a lot of the live cards, you've seen a bounce back because people want to invest in those. And of course, for the upgrades that like happened today, uh, there is some advantage to doing that. So I still think for a lot of this stuff, you will see prices go lower. So keep watching the leaks, right? The leaks are going to be the biggest catalyst to see how much more panic we have through the rest of this week. If the cards start getting leaked and they don't look good, which would be very unfortunate, and I think probably is not going to happen because foot birthday literally is, is always a dub. So just watch the leaks. I think they're going to really determine how much panic selling we see on the market here in the coming days. So drop any comments you have down below. I'll be responding to some of you guys down there you know, sell this, keep this, look out for this for certain cards, drop me a comment and we can uh, have some constructive conversations in the comments below. But um, of, of course, with that yesterday, we had a lot of leaks, right? I mean, not a ton of leaks, but we have a new loading screen and we have a couple other icons that have been leaked and added to our list of what to expect for foot birthday. And let's dive into that. I think the leaks that we saw didn't give us enough hype for a continuation of the panic selling. I mean, yes, this does confirm that Foot Birthday is going to bring the same kind of five-star weak foot, five-star skill move upgrades that we are expecting. So that in its own right is probably going to cause some more panic later on this week, but just have to wait for the leaks before that happens. George Best, five-star skill moves. That's a dub. And then a Chelsea center forward with 90 pace with a five-star weak foot. And this one is a little confusing. A lot of people say Felix, which I could see EA doing Felix in here. But if it is Joao Felix. He's already got 90 pace on his winter wild cards. This card's been in the game since December. I'm not a fan if that's 90 pace only on a Joao Felix card. Uh, as long, I guess I would be okay with it if they boosted his shooting above 90, passing above 90, and dribbling like 95. Guys, we are, I mean, a month away, month and a half away from team of the season. The cards that need to be in this promo need to be juiced. They need to be juiced for things to be progressing on this game. That's why I'm kind of crossing my fingers and hoping this might be Havertz. Um, 
not really because I want Havers to get a promo card. Felix would be so nice with a five star, five star because the card here on the right is getting a five star weak foot boost. So I would love Felix as well. I just wish they would give him more pace. But Havertz on this rule breakers has 88 pace, so a plus two there. But hopefully for the rest of the card, they would give him some really big other upgrades and a five star weak foot on a card like this. Um, he would be he'd be really really nice. So I doubt he would be lengthy anymore. Um, because his agility would go above 84, which is like the threshold for the lengthy. So we'd lose that. He'd probably be uh, controlled then. But, you know, I don't know who this is going to be. Hopefully we get some more information, more cards on the loading screen today. Now, other players that have been leaked. Cantona, Foot Birthday, Icon. That's a massive card. Stats are a prediction, I'm sure. And most likely going to be 5-star, five 5-star five as well. Because, again, this promo is all about 5-star weak foot, 5-star skill moves. That is a massive card right there. And also, our latest leak, Jarzinho, is getting a foot birthday icon card. That is really massive as well. Of course, Jarzinho, new icon this FIFA. The mid-SBC that he had that has got everybody going crazy um, about his card and just such a, a big staple of FIFA this year. He's getting a card too. Both of these are going to be super expensive, guys. I mean, think about how the team of the year icons were in terms of price. These guys are going to be really expensive as well. But we don't have any more leaks about actual foot birthday players in the team. So hopefully we'll learn some of those here pretty soon. We do have a couple of packs, I think, that are added to the code. And if I'm being honest, these are kind of mid packs. I hope these drop as SBCs uh, today, tomorrow, before Friday. I hope these are like EA giving us packs to just go out and stack up before the promo starts. If these are a part of swaps, then they better be like one token for each of these packs or like a group of combined packs for like five tokens or something. Because I don't know, these packs 84.3, 85.5, and 84.7 just seem kind of okay. So, you know, that was kind of the news yesterday. Also with the Cantona, Foot Sheriff said that it's going to be like the Peter Crouch hero, uh, that we will get a loan version for free inside of the Moments store. So that's just all the leaks right now. And if you kind of look at that and you, you see like, wow, okay, I guess maybe I understand why the market hasn't uh, kept dropping because we haven't had too many crazy leaks for like foot birthday players as of right now, if you kind of compare that to the leak that we had with Pedri, right? Pedri is such a big name. We had the loading screen with the icons. We got all crazy hyped and stuff like that. So that's why the market's kind of cooled down and cooled off, if you will. And we haven't really seen prices go absolutely crazy down further. But I still think there is some dropping to come. So things to watch out for today on this game. Of course, watch out for the leaks. Watch out for a bit more panic. There is maintenance. You might be like, Nate, I can't log into FIFA right now, depending on when you're watching this video. I should have mentioned this at the beginning. Uh, there is some maintenance going on. Seven hours of maintenance, EA. Uh, this better be a big fix. There's also a patch that is upcoming. EA tweeted about that yesterday to fix a few things, some gameplay changes as well. So uh, this patch is going to be, or this maintenance is going to go live here. I don't know what it's going to do to the market. Um, probably shouldn't mess with it too much, but it could, you know, if it's a full maintenance where they shut down the servers entirely, uh, it does say you may be disconnected or unable to access. It just depends. Every time I do maintenance, it's different. Um, but, you know, that's kind of a big outage today on the game as well for the morning hours. So be careful on the game today. New team of the week. Um, I'm, I'm saying be careful. Be careful with the market, right? I'm staying pretty liquid. I do have a couple flips that I'm going after right now on some of the fantasy foot cards. Uh, hopefully they get rare enough and go up a bit this morning where I can, you know, make some coins on that. But new team of the week today. Hopefully Kessie gets in for the ones to watch upgrade. Silver Stars is where our token should be. Watch your silvers today um, and enjoy the Silver Stars game mode. I'm sure that's going to be a blast uh, in there today. Everybody's going to be playing Silver Stars. And uh, also, I have to mention this really quick at the end. EA gifted everybody Foot Champs qualifier points yesterday, which means more gameplay demand. And that's also, I think, why the market's rebounding. That's another reason I should have mentioned earlier. That's another reason the market is going up a little bit because we have that and we have new objectives in here uh, for the five star skills FERPO that you can get for playing Foot Champs the next two weekends. And uh, five star skills is pretty dope. Not the best card ever, but kind of a fun card as a flex, I guess. Uh, if you're playing Champs, then, you know, you might get this card. And uh, yeah, everybody's going to be playing Weekend League this weekend because EA gifted out the qualifications. And then today's the Mild uh day for the objectives. And uh, yeah, we'll see what EA do to that card. Hopefully they juice that one up as well. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. Again, drop a comment down below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy today's episode, hit the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys today for a stream. It's been Nathan with Accountant. See you guys there. Peace. Out.